Um, <clears throat> okay. Welcome back to another Tuesday Chats with me, Ewan. And me, Emma. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to ask a few questions to Emma. Emma, if no one knows, is our new, she was our new intern, or she's here on her, her work experience. But uh, we're just going to ask a few questions to her, just to see how she got, got on. A few? Just a few, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Maybe, Emma, you'd like to introduce yourself a wee bit there. There's not much to say. Just here for three, four months, four months doing my internship. And I had a great time. I had a ball. It's my last day. And everyone was really, really nice. So if you need anywhere to go on your work experience, Zoom is the place. Nice wee plug there. I know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first question, Emma. Uh, what sparked your interest in digital marketing? And how did you end up on your exciting journey at Zoma? Um, I think because I wanted variety in my job for the future. So like, do you know the way, like if you're an accountant, it's kind of the same, you're working with numbers all the time, but with marketing, you're always doing something different. Mm. And I just thought I'd be way more interested at least I'd stick it out and like was actually it? enjoy my life. Yeah, yeah. Was it always digital marketing that you wanted to do? <laughs> no, definitely not. I wanted to do either be a dancer or be a lawyer. And then I think coming up to my leave and cert, do you know when you had to do your CAO and put yeah, in yeah. your you know points and stuff I think I freaked out then I was like oh my god I'll never get the points to become a lawyer and I and then I I'd, I'd seen digital marketing doing movies and stuff movies. <laughs> yeah right, there was so a good. movie I'd watched with Tiffany Haddish and it, it was her it was her sister was like a digital marketer and she was like it was all about her being rich she was earning six figures <laughs> it was like <laughs> you know what me. so then I was like I looked into it and then I was like oh my god you know what I genuinely be, would be interested and I used to find when I was small and watching TV adverts I used to just judge the shit out of these TV adverts mm. and I was like well then maybe because I'm so judgy and like, I can I actually do yeah. better than them yeah I can come up with a better strategy or you know what I mean people, or when yeah. they have really weird like what it like do you know when they have like an elephant as their like a random do you know, or do you know that 1890 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know it's really silly so yeah. I thought that maybe I'd do better you know okay and uh, what what made you end up here at Zoma well you yeah me <laughs> yeah <laughs> me and you and our friends from outside of Zoma yeah. and we we had we were in Belgium with the Venture Scouts and yeah. he was just talking it up and talking it up and talking about this new office space and everything promoting, promoting, promoting. and then just the options that I had as well like I was given other options from the college they all required me to travel to Dublin or stay in Dublin and I just didn't think it was worth it hmm. you know I, I would rather have stayed home so I think that's another thing that really pushed me to, to join here and even the fact that you and spoke so kindly about like management and everything and yeah. I think when you're working in part-time jobs management like good management is really hard to come by so for me I was like oh my god I want to see <laughs> if these guys, see are. What these guys are actually like. yeah and then when you came in for the first interview what did you think like you obviously got in with David and all that kind of stuff did yeah. you get the type of vibe that I was going with I think so. well it was kind I mean we were in this room actually yeah and well no not really because it's just two people like it was just you yeah and it was such a different sort of you were being interviewed like yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah. that was really nerve wracking you know what actually I mean ever, uh, yeah you're not really comfortable and stuff now David is uh, David is the one interviewing me and he's lovely but still I just you know you're just you're nervous and situations. you know especially even the office space wasn't finished you know it was literally just paint on the wall when I was there so mm. I didn't you know I it didn't wasn't the same was yeah, yeah yeah I didn't really yeah. see what you were kind of talking about um, okay yeah uh, right Emma second question What's your favorite thing about the vibe at Zoma or any unique company tradition or rituals we've you've enjoyed from I being have here? So things that might have put you out of your comfort Fred's. Fred, Fred, Fred. He <laughs> <laughs> it's this PT session on Wednesday. So Peter yeah. probably talked about it. Um it it was horrible. It was so horrible. Well, well, it was well, Peter Fred's talked about is, the team building aspects, but Well, I'm talking about the actual actual what we did it was all <laughs> cardio and i haven't done cardio in so long yeah, i had the worst time because yeah. everyone else in the office is like animals compared mm. to me so i oh here it's do you know not, what it's a good it's a great idea i yeah. get it i understand why i just i just, just um, ends it, yeah. no it wasn't for me but i do go to the gym mm. with you guys so you every think, at yeah, lunch time which yeah. i really like as well that yeah, was really yeah. enjoyable because yeah. i never have time ever to go to the gym and i feel it's really good to go with the break time because you wake up in the morning you refresh you do your work and then you go off to the gym at lunch and yeah. then you're coming back and you've just restarted yeah, all yeah, over yeah. again you're so like, the day is not dragging out ever that well i never found it dragging out anyways yeah, it goes pretty quick after really the gym quick. for sure i, I realized that myself really as well. quick um okay so so it wasn't what was the actual 
part of the company that actually you liked. I know I just, you said I think Fred. the team. No, the team. Right. Like everyone is so nice. Everybody is so mm. nice. And like even because it's an open floor plan where the office is, everyone's in together. If you have a question, there's no pressure or anything. Like everyone will take the time out. I think everyone, because it's, it's, it was, re- and every day was enjoyable. Like I'd never, I, there was not one morning I woke up and I was like, I actually do not want to go to work today. Yeah, I've yeah. never experienced that here, which in every other job, I feel like yeah. I've experienced that. Yeah, I've experienced that as well. Yeah, yeah you know, and you know, <laughs> so you're always days. going in to have fun. Like you, even if the work, even if you have a lot of work to do, it doesn't matter. You're still going to go in and have fun yeah. with the rest of the team. Yeah. Well, not have fun, but I have. Well, have no, the crack, like have like, the crack. Yeah, well, it's yeah. still fun. Like Enjoy you, 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 being you, around You people. can make the situation fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is good. But uh, anyway, third question. Uh, three months at Zoma. What's been your favorite project or kind of area of Zoma that you kind of like doing? Uh, like, I know you've done all different elements like websites, photo editing. You've done email marketing. You've done a few di- dipped your toes into loads of different aspects of our business. So what part of that was maybe maybe not the f- most fun, but like you've enjoyed the most? Definitely, I was very short my experience with it, but photography. Yeah. Because I've always even I was grew up as a dancer. You were always behind the camera, mm. or well, no, in front, in of, front the of the camera. camera. Yeah, yeah. I was always in front of the camera, and it's re. And then sometimes I got results, and I didn't like it. Whereas seeing it from, I feel like Richie, who is the photographer, is has such an eye. Like he's yeah, he's great. he's he's kind of above you know everyone else. In my the people I've like done photos with, he's mm. been the best. Yeah. And. Uh, I, he just he, you're so the comfort the photos turn out so much better and you're so much more comfortable behind the camera and even for me to be behind the camera because I'm I've I've been in so many situations where I'm thinking about angles and thinking about videos and everything yeah. I think that was just so much fun for me even when I said about like sitting and judging adverts on TV it was always like pictures and videos that I was mostly into yeah, yeah. Okay. that was definitely my favorite and Richie's an, an amazing teacher like he's so patient now, I'm not saying every, everyone else wasn't but, yeah, but Richie he's has a such, certain talent for kind of yeah, nurturing your ability to do things yeah, even I, the way he I, explains I things because yeah. even Glenn who we were taking the pictures of he was like he stood and waited he with us model, and, yeah. yeah he and he kind of was really interested too and he turned around to Richie and he was like well, you explained that so well and he's nothing to do with photography he's yeah. in sales so it's really interesting so yeah for sure Richie is definitely yeah <laughs> he's taught me a few things and i don't even do photography at all uh, but so it's good to know just it's good to know on general for, things like lighting iPhone. all that kind of yeah, stuff all this kind of are so good for editing that. you can do yeah. and it helps with some parts of my uh, the stuff that i do like photo editing and all that kind of stuff um <clears throat> anyway that's good four question emma right tell us a bit about a moment that made you go wow at soma anything that stood out and made an impact on your work experience any like certain times of the year or any events we might have gone to any of that kind of stuff i think we were sitting down in the boardroom and this is when can i talk about munched yeah go ahead um we were sitting down in the boardroom and someone just i don't know where munched even came from hmm. but i swear to god it was talked about and the next week it was like put into action yeah. like i the, and there wasn't even much said about it like it's just how quick everyone just jumped on it and like I just thought that was really strange because usually it's so much thought would go into that and there'd be so much like holding back like oh the money or oh this and but no these were all just like oh well like let's just go for it and then you had the website started Hmm. David had all the money and stuff planning and then even like with Glenn and with Niall going out and recruiting clients it's constant like I I just think it's crazy that it's already happening in January and when was it talked about? I think it was talked about October or something I just thought that I that was I think that was really I thought that was I know it's probably not what you're expecting (laughs) but I just thought that that was pretty amazing to be honest the lads are good at like jumping on new trends and it's entrepreneurship like what like it's it kind of doesn't really link with with like marketing like it, it it's a, it's its own thing mm. it's its own brand completely and yeah. it's so random that it was thought of and then it was just like oh let's just do it like yeah. why not why and not, it's yeah. such good like it's so good for even zoma's brand awareness let alone munch brand you know it's all it does work but it's really even well good together to see but that's like david chris all them like you can see how if they come up with an idea they won't just like him and ha about it they yeah. always like kind of think about it but then they go for it they don't it's not always there's no like, waiting around like, yeah they just go for it if it works money. it works if it doesn't work 
there's no hard feelings at least at least they tried there's no yeah um there's no regrets or anything yeah and i think it's a great thing to see in your boss as well yeah yeah you know it's good I mean? to see someone that does yeah, that because even you always talk about starting your own businesses and stuff and you would never ever even think of that if you didn't have these have people these ads, as yeah, your yeah, influence know, yeah. <laughs> so, you know what i mean you wouldn't really no you wouldn't know it's a it's all about the people that you're surrounded with yeah and kind of them that's why i think working in zoom is good because they, you have all these lads. You have Chris; he has his own business. 100%. David, Chris, and Richie obviously have their own business as well in Zoma. But before that, they had all the separate business yeah. as well. They're all freelancers, and it kind of inspires you to maybe work on something yourself. Work on Just something on the something side on the as side. well. Yeah, like, I've definitely thought of clothing businesses and all yeah, that kind of stuff which you should do yeah I, just have to, <laughs> I mean have he's to a stop, busy guy he's a busy he guy <laughs> it's, a, it's a big thing like it's a big deal stop sitting down on the couch and doing nothing oh, no. Start doing, oh, no. I doubt uh, you're doing maybe that. in the future yeah Emma another question all right so this one's from David uh, big man himself big man himself yeah do you feel you have the experience now to enter the digital marketing workspace after completing your placement I actually think I do like I wouldn't need to ask like a million questions or you know what I mean like I I definitely feel more confident in your ability yeah 100% no I feel like I I'd but then again everyone every every marketing agency is quite different like we had a presentation there for college and every so everyone had to present now I only heard five other people's presentations but it's crazy how different everyone's experiences were like I was very like hands-on with the things that's actually going out the things that the, the clients are using whereas other people it was all like planner research and excel and all, and all of yeah. that so it kind of probably depends where you are but if i was in a place another place like this i 100 yeah, yeah, I yeah. I would. you feel more confident yeah it's, yeah. Ju- it's just kind of getting used to each software and it doesn't i don't find it takes you long to learn anything yeah. especially it's when just, you have an actual project to work on it's not just uh, uh just messing around with it yourself yeah. when it's actually there's a deadline and you kind of need to get this done you do kind of want to learn the software a wee bit quicker and it kind of co- gets absorbed quicker as well yeah a lot easier as well um yeah for sure um for sure for sure (laughs) Uh, (laughs) okay emma one last question if you could recommend one thing from zoma to focus on this year what would it be probably photo editing like adobe Mm. all all of the adobe like i didn't do much in premiere pro and i feel like in college you'd need all that sort of stuff even afterwards like even just yourself i find it's really handy and i i'm in a like i work in a retail shop and just whipping up something and you'll be like you do it all so quickly yeah, yeah. and I don't I'm so jealous I mm. don't understand but even it's just finding out where like even when I asked you about the PSD files like finding yeah. out where you get all these things I think definitely that and Photoshop itself and yeah. a, like Premiere Pro and there was another one I Lightroom don't, no Lightroom wasn't too bad because it's just really filters yeah yeah that one wasn't uh, oh um what's it we did it with Chris and Peter Oh, Illustrator. I'd love to learn it. That yeah, was so yeah. cool. Yeah. I know that's you something worked I need to do as well. No, but you did loads on by yourself. I didn't look at it since, but yeah, I yeah. definitely <laughs> want to. I think it's just because it's cool. It's, yeah, it is very cool. I don't really know if I need it oh, right you, now. You might need it in, in, the, future, in the future. In the future, but still, I, it, yeah. I, it's better just to be prepared. Just yeah. learn now and be prepared when I go into the workplace. Yeah, for sure. Both Any um, last words for really. anyone else that maybe looking for a work experience it doesn't have to even do it any advice for people going on work um, experience i i got really good advice from my friend before i started work placement and it was like um don't be afraid to like sit back and like just watch people like don't hmm. i know everyone wants to jump in and do it themselves because they learn maybe they learn quicker but she's like don't be afraid to just step back and watch other people and listen to them and you know get their feel for things like there's nothing wrong with that and then you can go and then you can jump forward and start working on it yourself and she also said that if someone does something makes a mistake don't say it just let them keep going and then at the end be like oh this is where you went wrong and then you're respected more in the workplace they're like oh they were actually paying attention they were actually listening to me you know what I mean so yeah no I, I thought that was really good advice and I have done that like I have watched you or like you know especially with, when you teach me Adobe like mm. I kind of do like to sit back and watch and then I'll go to my laptop and, and then you'll yourself. explain it yeah, yeah. you will explain it again which I, I just find it's really helpful yeah it is yeah for sure when I find definitely with anything I don't like I wa- like watching a video but I don't really it doesn't really sink into my head until I actually go at it do it yourself do it yeah. myself um, and that's pretty much how I learn web design as well yeah I just I was given a project by David and just, just did it. Just did it. Yeah. But sometimes just you learn different you just things along the way yeah. as well. 
Uh, I was asked by one of my lecturers, they asked me like what was, like if you, when you were given a project and it was really difficult and you didn't know what to do, like how did you deal with that? And I was like, you just do it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. you don't really have a choice. There's always someone to ask or always, you can Google it. There's always somewhere you can go. Yeah. You know, you, you have kind of no choice. The client wants it, so you just do it. Like yeah, you just yeah. have to figure it out yeah. just like you yeah. with some of your projects you just have to figure it out yeah and it's it's not too bad here in Zoma where you have the lads and they have experience and you just ask them they're only across the table top and you just ask them yeah a question you don't feel like you're intruding in them or anything yeah um anyway that's that's all the questions for me uh emma and thank you for coming back for another choose the chats uh please like subscribe if you like these kind of videos bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. <laughs> well friends i guess that's all the time i have